Eat your heart out, boys. Eat your fucking heart out. Freaking right. Alrighty, guys. Uh, how's she going today? So, uh, freaking cats. And, uh, it's actually sunny out for once. And, of course, windy. But warmer. It's not fucking minus 40 like it always fucking has been. Stupid cats. Still a little windy out, though. I don't really care for it, but, uh, at least it's warmer. I guess that's all I got coming, I guess. That sounds like the second half of my, uh, Second mount that finally showed up. Got the flag yesterday. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay this lay that in there for now. So yeah. The only thing I have to do now is go to the hardware on next payday and uh, see if he sells one inch bars steel bars either with threads or not it doesn't really matter either one will work there's two truckers that pulled into town today and I guess they thought about maybe taking that row but I guess maybe they seen that sign so I guess it I guess the sign did work I got a neighbor's fucking roof material in my yard because he's such a fucking idiot do anything. So, yeah. Put that there, turn that on. So, neighbor's uh, material roofing crap is laying in my fucking yard. So, the way I'm just going to handle that is because I'm not burning it. to not tear his shit apart and never finish it. Like he tears it apart and never finishes it. So made no friggin' sense at all to do that. So don't don't start a project if you're not gonna finish it. So it'll be fine there stuck in his door. So yeah I'm a little bit up I'm a little bit pissed off but I guess what you know what can you do about it? Um, my computer is being an idiot and, uh, it's giving me dual screens on one screen, obviously. Now, I tried to fix it. I, f I fixed it yesterday. Um, my mom Googled it and there was a way to fix it. Well, apparently it's supposed to push F7 and it's supposed to pop it back into place, you know, and bring it back to a full screen again. F7 does nothing. But when you push the FN button and then F7, it puts your screen into a hibernate mode, which is what I did yesterday. And then I turned my computer off and, you know, restarted it and then it was working. Now I did it again today. did it about three times. Nothing. It's not working anymore so my computer seems to be resetting itself back to these dicker freaking settings and I don't know why so I think the computer's just about done um, no one way it's ever going to really get fixed is if I can take it up somewhere to get it fixed because I can't fix it I've already tried to fix it I was only able to fix it once I shut my computer down then it's no good. And I think my computer's on the on the verge of dying anyway. Because I can't watch YouTube videos like I used to be able to. Um when I would full screen a video, um, even though I'm not doing anything on the computer, I'm just watching the video, I seem to be getting a laggy effect going on. Um the video will pause, but the audio will will continue to play. So and then it freezes, and of course, then eventually it'll just... It, it, after a few seconds, it seems to... It'll jump ahead, catch back up to where it left off, and then it does it all over again. If, if, a few seconds later, it's lagging out again. So, 
And those problems, I don't know how to fix. I can't comment on live sh live shows. I've had that problem for a long ass fucking time. Um, so I don't know what the hell the problem is there. Um, and yeah, you're just seeing an iPhone video because I'm probably not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to upload much for anymore for videos until this computer issue gets fucking solved. I'm trying to get a hold of my sister to try to see if she can fix it. She just fucking moans and bitches and gripes about it. She's like, just look it up on YouTube or Google it, you know? And I'm like, I tried that. You know? She tells me to Google shit. It doesn't matter. I'm not a, I'm not a computer genius. I don't know how to fix every computer problem that my computer has. It has to be looked at. It has to be taken to someone that actually knows a lot about these computers. And my sister knows more about these computers than I do. But she refuses to, you know, to help out. So I'm like, whatever then. I understand that she's got a kid to take up, to take care of too. You know, your your kid comes here half the fucking time. My mom takes care of it. So, what do you got to worry about? <coughs> so, <clears throat> you know, I really can't. Re I can't rely on her anymore to help f fix my computer because she's always crabby. You, you, you try to, it's like trying to talk to her is like trying to talk to my uncle. They both have some kind of an anger issue or something going on. Like it's ridiculous. Grow the fuck up. If you don't like your fucking job, then don't work there then. Go find a fucking different job then if you're so stressed out at your fucking job. Don't take it out on everyone else. I'm just fucking asking for help. You don't have to chew my motherfucking head off. So, you know. My sister thinks, well, maybe there's some things on my computer that are causing it to, you know, run funny. She's like, well, maybe you have to remove them. I don't know where any of that shit's at. I don't know what shit I need and what shit I don't need. I don't know what, what keeps my computer running. I'm not a computer genius. I just know how to use them. So, and I tried to, you know, I try to figure things out. There's some things that I've figured out, you know. But there were nothing, there were minor stuff. And I just learned to learn another thing today. Um, yeah, just, just, just this morning, for the last year or two, my eyes have been very sensitive to anything super bright, like super bright lights or anything. They're sensitive sometimes, and staring at a bright screen doesn't help my eye situation. So I was like, how the hell can I dim this? I'm trying to find settings to figure out how to dim my screen so it's not as freaking dark. Well, I just found if you push... The FN button, and then there's a couple keys on top. I think they're like F5 or 6 or something like that, or whatever. It's got the, it's got the little the little light symbol on them, one for light and one for dark. That's actually how you can adjust your brightness. I thought you actually had to go through a setting. You have to, you'd have to go into your settings to find that. Of course, when I went when I went into my settings, there's nothing there. So figure that out. But you know. And right as of right now, my screen is like dark. Not sure why it's dark. I got the brightness all the way. The screen is supposed to be a lot brighter than that. And I don't know if it's. I don't know. I think my computer is just on the verge of dying. So. <clears throat> either until my sister can get her ass over here and help me figure this shit out. Or. It's going to have to be down for a couple of months then, I guess, until I can take it somewhere and have them, have them, look, have them look at it. Because I don't know what else to do. I'm not a computer genius. My sister com complains. She ain't got fucking time. So. All I can do is just leave it as it is. And then. After taxes. The month after. My sister takes it up to the cities. And the geek squad looks at it. I don't have a choice. Because I don't get support from her anymore. From my sister. And googling it doesn't really help. Because when I google shit. Well for one I can't google on my computer. Because my computer's dickered. Well, you just use your phone, use your iPad, whatever. Okay, yeah, I tried all that, and my phone, I've tried doing it on my phone, and my phone gives me the wrong kind of information. I punch in how to fix a dual screen on your PC or whatever, and it's just like, um, how to set up a dual monitor. I don't want a dual monitor, I want to fix it. I want to get rid of the fucking issue. So, like I said, yesterday, I... 
somehow magically got it to disappear and I had my full screen back again. You know, one big screen. Today, I don't know. Um, like I said, I had fixed it. So, if I had fixed the issue yesterday, it should have stayed like that. Meaning, I have a memory issue going on where it's not keeping that stuff saved. So, you know, and I can't really maintain equipment or like computers um because i have stuff on there you know that that's supposed to keep my computer safe and i'm paying like i don't know eight bucks or whatever the fuck it is a month to have you know a good security system on my computer and well obviously if it's cheap it's not going to protect you from everything so i don't know what i'm picking up because i don't really do anything different from what i've done all the other years you know basically just youtube and Tractor House and, you know, those kind of websites. That's basically it. I don't do anything else new on it. So, unless someone hacked my computer and they're giving me some problems, I don't know. But, and that's that's another thing that I've, I, another thing that I've, I have on my computer, and I've had it on my computer for probably about two years now, because I can't figure out how to get rid of it, is I have that gopher file, go for file, on my computer screen and I can I cannot get rid of it every time I start my computer up and I, I Obviously I put a passcode on my computer. So when I type that in it launches you into your screen Okay, that's the first thing that pops up is that gopher file and I can't get rid of it. There's no way of getting it's like a virus. I can't get rid of it so There is not in the computers when you download something something like that onto your computer it's supposed to go into a certain file and then you're supposed to be able to go into that file and then uninstall it or install it okay it's not in that system it's not in that file so where the hell it is i don't know i can't get rid of it that's part of what's eating my computer alive because i can't figure it out could they get the geek squad they could just you know figure figure around with it see the thing is i don't the one thing i don't like is when computers have to be wiped clean because of the, then there's a good chance that I lose everything that I saved on my computer. I lose all my passwords. Uh, I lose all my pictures. Even though the pictures I have on there now are not, are not as important as the ones I got on my memory stick because I moved all my good ones over. So, but I have all my bookmarkings. And those things were hard to find. So that, that's the point of the bookmarks. You know, you bookmark it so they don't have to fuss to try to find it again if i lose all that i'm going to lose all my fucking websites and then i'm back to figuring out where the hell they all come from you know my sister says that well when you get a new computer there's an easy way of moving all the shit over to the new computer well i'm not going to get a new computer anytime soon so you know and everything that's on my on my old computer i'm not taking it over to my new one i'm only moving my editing software my youtube my Facebooks, you know, those kind of things. I'm taking over to my new computer. Everything else is staying on the old one until the old one just fries itself. Um, which is probably going to be pretty soon. So, I have one more video that's going to go up today. Um, then, you know, then I have this one. And I think I'm going to call it quits because I, uh, I have no way of editing videos now. If this fucking trucker to leave, I guess, because he's decided to take off right when I'm going to make a fucking video. You came here empty, and you were here for, like, not even an hour, and you're loaded? How come it takes the other ones, like, eight hours to move? And it's the same size fucking trailer. He wasn't even here an hour, and he's already gone. He's already got a full load. How come it takes the other ones, like, eight hours to fucking load? What do they do? It's so stupid. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I can still do stuff on my computer. Um, there's some things I'm going to have to be able to do, and some things I may have to do on the iPad. Um, well, I could probably do it on the computer, too. I have a hard time watching videos because I have dual screens now. I can't see. I can still watch it, you know. I don't exactly have to, like, look at it. I can just listen, listen to the audio of it, and then I know what's going on. And leave comments that's about it but 
again, I can watch the videos on on the on the iPad. I tried to leave comments, but uh, it's kind of tricky on there, so I'm not gonna really bother. So for uploading and making videos, that's probably gonna come to a screeching halt now. Until either my sister can figure it out, or it's just gonna have to stay like that for a couple of more months until I can get it down to Geek Squad and have them. And Geek Squad is an hour and a half south from here. So my sister would have to take it up there on a Friday. Because uh, that's when she goes up there to be with her ex-boyfriend. So, um, and they'll have to work on it. And then she'll have to pick it up, I guess. While she usually takes him back. Well, sometimes she'll bring him here. Not here, here in my house, but to her house. So she'll go there Friday, sometimes Saturday, pick him up. Take him back on Monday because she's got to work the rest of the fucking week. So, if they could fix it in a, you know, I don't know if they work on the weekends or not. I suppose they probably would if they had to. I don't fucking know. And I don't really care. So, I don't know. And they're going to probably have to work on it, you know, for a, I don't know how long it'll take them to work. I mean, they're going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to take my pass passcode off just so they can get into it because I don't want to have to give them a passcode. Um, it's just better just to just you know disable that again, and then they can just get into it free like, and then uh, then when they're done and they got it working 100%, I'll put my passcode back on it. But um, that's about all I can do. <sighs> and for computers lasting a long time now. I know Double Strike said that they would if you took good care of them. If you knew how to fix them. You know. Yeah, if you know how to fix them. I don't know how to fix them. I gotta take my computer to someone that knows how to fix it. And this is another thing. My computer is seven years old. It's probably got like 50,000 hours on it, if not fucking more. So, you know, them lasting. A lot longer than that. I think it's a bunch of shit. I don't think I don't. They're not meant to last. There's even even our our, our uh, very first computer that we had. Um, the very first computer computer ever <clears throat> started having issues as well. And then, well, then I think they started making the the laptops, you know, or whatever. So we ended up getting those, and uh, we said the hell with that. So, yeah. So I don't know. I wasn't gonna borrow my sister's old computer because um, she uses her work computer mostly to do whatever, and she's got another another one that she don't use that much. Um, she said that one doesn't work all that all that best either. So, but at least doesn't have the the you know dual screen freaking issue that I got going on here. It's just. Every time I talk about this computer, I start having issues with it. I don't know why. It was going good for so many years after... I, once it got hit by lightning, I had it fixed. It's been running fine. You know, it's had a few problems here and there, and... We were able to fix it, and it was back as new. So, and there was a couple times, too, that my computer blue-screened on me, too. And that's usually not a good sign if it's blue-screening on you. So... But I figured if I just let the computer sit there, you know, because it froze, I figured, well, if I just let it sit there, maybe it'll snap out of it. Like it always does in the videos, it it, it freezes, and then it, it comes back to life again, and it works for two seconds, and then it's back to freezing again. Well, this time, it just completely decided not to, blue screened it, did it twice on me yet. And I'm like, yeah, this computer's got to be getting close to I think every five years, I'm just going to get a new computer. I think that's the best thing I can do because I'm not going to keep, you know, trying to fix these old things and they're not, they're, and they're, they're only going to work for like two years and then they're back to frying themselves, you know. So, I don't know. And, the, and what was funny too is that when I bought that computer, um, the first like year or two, I never really used it all that much. I went on it once in a while. But then ever since I joined YouTube, I've been on it like crazy. I've been running my computer, you know, what is it, like probably like 10 hours a day or whatever. I mean, it's from 9 a.m. 
to sometimes midnight. Sometimes I, I stop at 11.30 or 11, you know, if I'm tired, if I'm really tired. But most times it'll run from 9 a.m. to midnight, straight, no breaks, you know. Because it's easier for me to just leave it on. If I have to, because if I go into YouTube and people leave, see, because people leave comments at all different times of the, of the hours and and I like to respond to them as quick as I can. So just leaving my computer on and, you know, staying on YouTube or whatever, it's easier. And then yet I'm editing videos every day pretty much. You know, that's, that's, that's another thing that my computer mainly does for me is edit my videos. So, I mean, and I go on Facebook, of course, I, mean, I do all this other stuff too, but, you know, it's mainly YouTube. And that editing software that I have to use. So I don't know. But I think my computer's probably about ready to take a shit. So um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Unless you guys have some solutions that I can you maybe try to figure out. But I'm not a computer genius. So if you guys tell me to go do this and do that. I may not be able to understand it. Because I'm not a computer genius. I know, I know nothing about computers. There, there are some things that I can fix if they're minor such, you know, problems. But when it gets more difficult, it's something that I that either has to be done by someone else, or I have to spend hours just studying what this what this person's talking about. Like if he says, "Well, you got to go deep inside of this and that and this and that to get that problem solved," I have to take my time and, and understand what he's talking about before I can actually try. It. Cause, I, cause I've done stuff like that in the past, and nothing works, you know. So I don't know. It's just such bullshit. So, but I don't know. It's it's frustrating. So you guys may not be seeing too many videos from me for a while. Um, besides some cell phone videos here and there, because. What to do if I can't if I fix the problem and it continues to happen like it has I've already fixed it once I don't remember how to fix it now because I forgot which was stupid because I just did it yesterday morning and this morning I went to restart my computer or to start it and it totally went back to to dual screens again it got a screen on the top and it got a screen on the bottom the screen on the bottom doesn't move the one on the top moves. Um, I really can't watch people's YouTube videos on the computer because I can't see the subscription bar on the side. I can see it on the iPad, so... <sighs> I guess I'll just have to try to just maybe watch them. And that's it. And then for leaving comments, I'll just have to try to find a way on the computer. Um, there's going to be, most likely, be some people... That I'm going to be able to uh, watch their videos because I have their uh, um, I have that best channels like you know if Steve should leave a video well he's in that best channels section there in my channel so I can just you know watch those people's videos but for the ones that are not on that list like Bear Tech he's not on that list so therefore I really can't watch his videos. Unless I go on the iPad. But for commenting, I don't know if I can. I Apparently I'm signed in on there, but it won't let me leave comments. So i got to figure out that to see how I can leave comments. Uh, once I figure that out, then I guess I'll be okay for a while. But for actually me uploading, it ain't going to happen anymore. Not until I can get this computer issue freaking solved. And if I do, and it continues to do it again, it's going to have to be taken in. I don't know what else to do. So, the guy that used to fix computers, the guy that actually fixed the computer, my computer when I got hit by lightning, um, he's, you know, not that far from me, and he did a pretty awesome job fixing my computer, and now he retired. So, I can't go to him anymore. I think, I, I don't know if he just retired because of old age, or if he's got cancer now, I don't know. There was some reason that he fucking retired. I don't remember what the reason was, but 
Um, he's he's no longer in it, and he doesn't have kids, so his kids are not into that. He doesn't have he doesn't even have kids, so he's not carrying on the business. So of course, well, if he did, well, all the young kids are gonna say, "Oh, just give him a really cheap thing, and it'll be fine. You know, she'll charge him a fortune." So next best thing is is Geek Squad up in the cities. They were, they were the ones that actually set it up my computer when I first bought it. They were the ones that were to uh, make sure that it was running good enough. Uh, they wanted to make sure it had all the good software and stuff in it. And, you know, it was up to date before they, they gave it to me. And, of course, when they were done with it, it, it took them about a good hour or so to, to uh, you know, do what they had to do to it, right? That was when it was brand new. They had to still figure around with it. So, um, you know... So, so yeah, but, <clears throat> I mean, they would, they would work on computers, how much they would charge me, I don't fucking know, because I don't know if it's actually something that's wore out on the computer that needs to be actually replaced, if it's like, if there's like a memory card in it, and it's, it's fried itself, it needs to be replaced, I don't know what they would charge me there, or if it's just something that's in my computer that I can't see, and they have to delete it, you know. I don't know. If it's something easy or something hard. So. But for me, trying to figure it out. Probably not going to happen. I've already. I mean, like I, I said, yeah. I fixed it yesterday. I don't know what I did. Really, to be honest with you. I, I just pushed F or the FN button, which is at the bottom of your keyboard. And F7. Well, F7 just darkens your freaking screen. That's all it does. It just makes your screen go completely black. And... Then I restarted it, and then it worked. But today, that's not working. So, and my mom says, well, just Google it. Doesn't work. I can't figure it out. Google doesn't tell me what I want. That's what my sister says, too. Just Google it. How about get your ass over here and help me out? But what's so fucking stupid is that I have to go help her with shit all fucking time. So... Fuck it. She won't help me. I'm not going to help her. Two can play that fucking game then. So I really shouldn't have to go to my YouTubers, you know, like double a strike. I shouldn't have to bother him all the time to help figure my computer. I know he's a computer genius, but I shouldn't have to go to him, you know. I should be able to go to my own family member and, and help and tell me what to do. She's more of a computer genius than I am. Double strike's probably ten times smarter than she is. I mean, I could probably... I mean, if he lives closer, I could just walk to his house and be like, here's my computer, fix it. You know, and he could probably have it done in like 10 minutes. You know, whereas me, it, it would take me hours to figure it out. Because I'm not meant to fix computers. I'm only meant to use them. You know, I slowly learn things as I use a, use a uh, computer. But, you know, if I ever use those features, I doubt it. My computer has so many other features on it that I don't even need them. Like, like you can actually... There's a feature that you can turn on where you can actually talk to your com computer with your actual voice. You can t you can tell your computer to turn on, turn off, dim on the screen, whatever, all that kind of shit. I don't need that. There's nothing wrong with my fingers. You know, there's nothing wrong with my eyeballs. Just push the button and push that button and then your screen's freaking darker. Unless you have, you know, eye problems where you can't really see a screen at all and you need to talk to your computer, that's fine. I'm not blind. So, I, I you know, it's just, to me, it's a stupid feature to have. For me, anyway. If you need it, that's fine. Drive on with it. As long as you can use your computer to your liking and get shit done on it, I don't have a problem with it. I don't need it because I'm not blind. Not as of yet. I'm sure I'll be blind by the time I'm 40. I'll probably be dead by the time I'm fucking 40. So, so yeah, I don't know. My computer is being an asshole again. I still think it's probably just. It's just being. It's being cooked. It's. You know. It's about done. Which kind of sucks. Because it's so early yet. Because I can't afford a new computer yet. <sighs> yeah. I could probably save up for a couple of months. And go buy. You know. A cheap. You, or not, well not a used one. But a cheap one. You know. For like 300, 400 bucks. Yeah. It'd get me by. But, to be honest with you, there's really no point because in probably just another two or three months, I'll 
have my big money and then I'll be able to buy a whole new computer. I'll be able to buy a real computer, which is what I plan on doing. I, buy, I plan on buying a fucking $2,000 computer setup. It's going to be a fucking computer tower and then a 27-inch fucking monitor, you know, all from, from Asus. I ain't going with Dell or Gateway or any of those other fucking gay brands. I hate them all. So, mom thinks that Dell, and I think she, I think my mom likes Dell the most. But, I'm not a big fan. I'm sure now I'm not a big fan of Sony because, obviously my mom's has, my mom has a Sony computer. Um, and it's really gone to shit. So, her computer's probably not going to last too much longer either. So, I don't know. See, if I lived in the big city, like we used to do, I could just walk down the street and go to Geek Squad and be like, hey, fix my computer. And I'd pay them. I can't do that here because I'm an hour and a half away from the nearest freaking, you know, Best Buy. You know, I don't have my own vehicle. So I can't go running up, up to the cities. If Once I get the Ion fixed... You know, then fine. I'll go to the city and get my computer fixed since no one else wants to help me with it. You know, I'll be, I'll spend a little bit of time trying to figure it out. If I can't figure it out, I'm just gonna give up and call call Geek Squad. And be like, you can fucking deal with it. I mean, yeah, it's money down the drain because he probably it's probably just something real simple. It's simple for the people that are damn good at knowing what they're doing with computers. I just know how to use them. I don't spend. I I, I never went to computer school to learn how to be a computer person you know that's not my thing my thing is to weld metal together or drive heavy equipment you know that's my thing so get my hands dirty like a real man fucking does you know so i'm not a, i'm not a city slicker i don't like city fucking jobs i don't like dealing with anything that's clean really working on computers is like a clean job you know because you're not getting your hands real dirty yeah, you're getting them dirty for you know from years of dust, but that's nothing. I get my hands full of dust all the time too. So, you know, I'm just saying it's not my thing. Working on computers is not my thing. I understand that it's you know some people's thing, and that's fine. You know, so Double Strike could probably look at my computer and have it fixed in 20 seconds. It's probably something simple, but. I can't figure it out. And for that fucking gopher file thing on my computer, I can't get rid of it. My sister's been all over my computer too and she can't figure it. So it's some kind of a fucking virus. The only way you could probably ever get rid of that is if you wipe your computer completely clean. And I didn't really want to do that as of yet because I wanted to be able to find those things again and move them over to my new computer. And then on the old computer, it can just be taken in, completely wiped clean, rebuilt, and then I'll then then I can use it all over again for smaller jobs. You know. So I don't know, maybe I'll just have to shop around for some cheap for a cheap computer. Um if this one can't be fixed, I'll have to just have to get it set it up and put you know all my YouTube stuff on there, all my Facebook stuff and drive on with that with that one for now. And then, but like I said, by then it won't be worth it because I bet you in probably two months I'll probably have to turn around. I'll be turning around buying a whole brand new setup. So, well, I guess my I guess my mom can always have that computer then because it'll only be a couple of months old. So, but I don't really want a cheap one. But maybe I'm just gonna have to get a cheap one for now to get me by. I'm so mad at my I like I love ASUS stuff, but I'm having this issue and it's driving me freaking nuts. So, I may just have to get a cheap one, put all, put my stuff on there, and then when the, time's, when, it, when the time comes, I'll have all that stuff on the new computer moved over to my newer computer, and then the old one can get fixed, or whatever, just smash it, whatever. So... <clears throat> That's the only thing I can do, I guess. It's just uh, get to get a new one every few years to avoid having such major issues. I mean, it sounds like, like I'm making it sound like it's major issues, but it's probably something simple. 
But what is causing it, I don't know. I don't know what's causing the dual screen. I don't know what's causing that gopher file to keep popping up. I can't get rid of it. You can only close out of it. So it's like I said, it's like some kind of a virus yeah, that you can't get rid of. Where the hell that come from? I don't fucking know. So, I don't know. I wish I really was more of a computer computer genius, but simply I'm not. So, I seem to be getting, I have a hard time getting a hold of my sister. She complains that she don't know, even though I think she does. Um, she just don't want to help out because she's crabby all the time. She's what I call, <laughs> which is actually kind of funny. I call a lot of people this. I call them crabby patties. If you know where Krabby Patty comes from, it comes from SpongeBob SquarePants. So, my sister's a Krabby Patty. You know, that's just what I call people that are fucking Krabby. So, but it sounds stupid, but, you know, I just, I think it's hilarious. So that's why I call them Krabby Patties, because, you know. So, and yesterday, um, my mom went to the dentist. She had that tooth problem. Um, I didn't, I didn't really talk about it. But she had, she, had, she had went in there a week earlier to get her tooth filled or whatever. Well, it never worked. So then he looked again and he found out it was, it was infected. So he just pulled it out. And then my mom wanted to go to that one store that used to be called Pomida. And she wanted to go shopping. Okay. And then so my grandma. Well, my grandma starts going off on me because I didn't put the shopping cart back where it belongs. They have a thing behind you where you can put shopping carts. And I'm like, why should I walk all that fucking distance when I can just leave it right there and they can fucking deal with it? They're, they're, you know, they're getting paid to fucking do that shit. Everyone else is fucking doing it. Well, you don't have to be like everyone else. Like, I don't even want to go anywhere with my own grandma anymore. I'm getting so frustrated, so tired of people nagging on me. I got nagged on YouTube yesterday. I took that video down because I said the fucking hell of it. Just re-uploaded another one. Like, sorry you don't like the way I think, but you know what? Screw you then. If you think that I'm an idiot, screw you. So, whatever. There may just be a day where I may not upload on YouTube for a long time. And that actually might be starting after this video because what can I videotape? Not a hell of a lot. So... Alrighty guys, I'm gonna take off. I do apologize for this long video, so I gotta be able to upload this, so Yeah, anyways guys, I'm gonna take off, so I guess uh have a good day and stuff and stuff. So uh yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Take care easy.